we interrupt this program to bring you... One, two, three, uh... What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Cereality TV. I'm your host, Ed. I have my cereal, I have my polar bear fleece. Shout out to you, Nicole. And episode six is underway. Today, we're here to talk about Corn Pops, one of the older cereals out there, and not just in terms of the year it came out, but the target demographic they chose to go after. Last time I had heard about Corn Pops was when Joe Biden referenced it in one of his speeches, which further goes to show you how old the cereal is. It's an interesting cereal to me because although it's one I immediately recognize, I don't know much about it, having not bought it often as a kid. What I did find out while I was doing some research was that apart from the US, the cereal is available in France and Canada, although in the latter, the taste and shape vary slightly, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. It's also one of the cereals that initially included the word sugar in their name, another one being Frosted Flakes, until the US realized how bad sugar was for us and removed it for marketing purposes. And while on the topic, let's get right into it and talk about the rest of their marketing and branding. All right, so Corn Pops was released in the early 1950s as a sponsor for a popular TV series and radio show, a Western at the time known as The Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok. That's a very interesting move by Corn Pops because as opposed to reaching children through cartoons like other cereal brands, they chose to do so through a TV show that I can only imagine was mainly watched by adults who were buying the cereal anyway. It's also not that hard for us to picture in the 1950s and 60s when there wasn't much to do, a family sitting around a TV watching the Western, and the following morning the mom going to buy groceries and asking little Jimmy, what cereal do you want for breakfast? And of course, little Jimmy would want some corn pops. The cereal featured some of the stars of the Western on their boxes for some years until eventually they phased them out and replaced them with other very American mascots, namely a prairie dog, a porcupine, and an animated cowboy. These were all before my time, but my favorite of the bunch was a cowboy known as Big Yellow, who was around from 1979 to 1980. He had a 10-gallon yellow hat, a southern accent, and kind of gave me Clint Eastwood, Matthew McConaughey vibes, which I'm a fan of. His whole thing was that he had all these yellow objects that he would trade children in return for some corn pops. I don't know whether or not his stunt as their mascot was short-lived because he inevitably ran out of yellow things to trade, or because the cereal world wasn't ready for a cowboy as their mascot. But if I were Kellogg's, I would bring him back because today their mascot is very underwhelming. Its name is Sweet Toothosaur and it's this Godzilla-like monster. It's a hand with googly eyes that terrorizes and eats corn pops. Eh, their box is pretty simple. Yellow backdrop, red letters, doesn't even feature their mascot. And their tagline, it's nothing special, gotta have my pops. So to me, it's clear that although they once had something going for them in their marketing and branding, they've since fallen off. I will give them some credit because most Americans will still recognize Corn Pops, so they've managed to stay somewhat relevant. But I'm going to have to give them a 2 out of 5 for marketing and branding. Let's move on to consistency and durability. When it comes to Corn Pops, it has somewhat of an abnormal shape. Uh, it's kind of rocky, nothing I can really think to compare it to. But if you do live in Canada, out there it's more of a puff and less sweet, so closer to a kicks. Here in America, it's great to eat without milk, and some people even prefer it that way. But if you do want to eat it with some milk, rest assured, it holds up great and manages to stay crunchy even when it sogs on the outside. I don't know what it is, but something about corn pops is very satisfying to eat, and I think it's the texture. I'm gonna go ahead and have to give them a five out of five for consistency and durability. Let's talk about taste. The ratings here were so varied, it was amusing to see what you all thought it ranked. There did seem to be an overall consensus though that Corn Pops is underrated, and I'm gonna have to say I agree. It's probably because it reminds me of Honeycomb, the most underrated cereal of all time if you ask me. It's subtle, it's sweet, it's crunchy, exactly what I want in a cereal. Like I said, you guys were all over the place and you ended up giving it a four. That's what I would have given it, and that's what we're gonna go with for our taste factor. Not that anyone thought otherwise, but Corn Pops isn't exactly healthy. It has 150 calories, 12 grams of sugar, and 30 grams of net carbs per serving. It is a bit higher in carb content, but that's because it's mainly corn based. I will say it does also have a higher serving size at 40 grams. So you can have more Corn Pops than some of your other favorite cereals for the same amount of gill. 
not much else to be said. No surprise, Corn Pop gets a three out of five for Nutrition O'Malley. All right, this is starting to become my least favorite part because I've realized that I've been overpaying for cereal my entire life. You can find a box of Pops on Amazon Pantry for $3.64 for the family size, which comes out to about 19 cents an ounce. In comparison, there's some ridiculously overpriced healthy cereals, I won't say any names, that are charging $1.39 an ounce. And 19 cents an ounce, the least I can give Corn Pops is a five out of five for price. Let's wrap this up. Marketing branding got a two out of five. Consistency and durability got a five out of five. Taste got a four out of five. Nutritional value got a three out of five. And price got a five out of five. Total that up, divide by five. 3.8 is the final score for Pops. Thank you guys for watching. It's been real. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you like and also subscribe so that you get notified every time I release a new one. Next time we're reviewing our first ever healthy cereal. So this should be interesting. Make sure you tune in. See you guys next time.